Hey y'all, make sure you go on over to my website and check it out. We have pre-made crochet pieces, pre-made waist beads, handcrafted all natural ingredients, hair care products. So yeah, make sure you go on over and shop. You can find something for anybody and everybody over to my website. So make sure you go on over to Jayla Shea Creations, crochet.com and shop today. Hey, so yeah, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to revamp a lace. Like, how to bring it back after it's been... Do some things. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Bring it back this lace because it's been through some things. So make sure you stay tuned and look at how I do this thing. So I start off by just using warm water and soaking the lace up under the warm water. You want to scrub with your fingers, but not too hard, just so that you won't rip your lace or put a hole in it, so it don't be going ham. Then I'm going to go in with a little Dawn. You know, you got to get your scrub on. You know, Dawn cleans any and everything, child. I use Dawn for everything. But yeah, get your little Dawn. You want to scrub, scrub, scrub. Make sure you loosen up that glue on that lace. Make sure not to rip your lace, because girl, if you rip your lace, I don't know what to tell It just depends on how much glue or hairstyle is used. You should be able to get it all out, but it just depends. But yeah, I'm getting this bad boy clean. Don't play with me. Yeah, you see it. It's clean. Now, next step we're going to do is shampoo the lace. And I'm gonna be using my own Oracle Hair Growth Oil, Aloe Vera Mint Shampoo and Conditioner for this. So yeah, spray some on that. Ooh, the smell, just so aromatherapy-like. Just wanna wash this lace real good, get all that dirt up out of there, all that grime, spray. You wanna just make it a brand new lace, like, basically. After we get all the shampoo rinsed out, 
I'm going to run some hot, 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 hot water in a sink. And we're going to condition this waist with my Royal Crown Hair Growth Oil Conditioner. And after I run the water, I'm just going to squirt a couple of squirts of conditioner in the water, as you will see next up. So yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of conditioner in the water. Stir it around and pop that wig up in that water and let it get what condition. And you want to move it around, swish it on in that conditioned water, making sure the conditioner is penetrating all the wig and the lace as well. Let's go bring back that shine and that curl of the originality. And voila, as you can see, the lace is squeaky clean. The wig is squeaky clean. Still got all this little hair. I ain't no hair missing in the front of the lace. I ain't pull no ball spots out on the lace. That's why I tell you when you're washing it, be careful. Because you will rip it, you will pull hair out. And yeah. So, this is the clean lace, the after. As long as you follow these steps, your lace will be looking right back transparent like it was before it was put on your head. 